Howdy fellow Carbonauts, Abraham here. After watching the real civil engineer attempt hypersonic flight, I felt compelled to offer a rebuttal. He's clearly having a lot of fun and that's fantastic. For some, this is enough. For the hardcore nerds out there, this is for you. Again, as an actual aerospace engineer, I say there's a better way. For one, I'm surprised RCE didn't use the rapier engine. It benefits quite a lot from intake airspeed, so it produces absurdly high thrust at high speed. Also, the speed of sound changes with air temperature, and the air in the upper atmosphere is colder, so the actual velocity of Mach 5 is lower. Drag is linear with air density, so we have less drag at high altitude as well. This craft has four rapiers and seating for 32 kerbals. A craft this size needs a fairly large wing area to get off the ground, but the wings are oversized for supersonic flight. To counter this, we use a canard with adjustable deflection for precise control. At about 20 kilometers, this craft cruises nearly hypersonic at Mach 4.5, but during descent, we can see speeds up to Mach 5.25 safely. Pushing the engines to their limit, they explode due to overheating at about Mach 5.75, leaving the rest of the vessel to glide safely to the ground. We went about a quarter of the way around the planet in 16 minutes. Well, that's all I have for you today. A link to the craft file is included in the description so you can try it for yourself. Good luck out there.